Hi. I know. It's, it's been a little while. Technically, I've still been online. I just haven't floss tubed. And I, I would like to say I have a really good reason for not floss tubing, but we don't. <laughs> Well, I, I did the, the cross-stitch camp this last summer, this summer, I guess it is, and I was only working on one project, and so I didn't, I didn't really have that much to say, and to be honest, floss tube overwhelmed me. I felt like I had to keep up with the Joneses. It's like everybody's doing floss tube videos, and in order to do proper floss tube videos, I had to have lots of whips and lots of hauls and lots of things and stuff and in order to be successful i needed lots of stuff and yeah it was too much for me i let i let it overwhelm me <laughs> and so i thought you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do cross stitch camp and we'll see how that goes well, what happened was I ended up absolutely loving starting and finishing <laughs> one project. And so I've been doing a lot of that. I will um, actually be, do is anybody else not, not, I, I'm gonna look over here every once in a while cause that's where my, I can see. Make it through re-inking your printer without inking yourself. Yeah, me either. Anyways, I do have a lot to share, but it's been a couple of months, so obviously there's probably a lot to share. Um, but not a lot of new stitching other than what I did at camp. And um, again, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen it, been there, done that. I do have a clip to put into here that um, does a quick walkthrough of my craft room because I not going to take all of this stuff down so I can show you. Um, that was the other thing, you know, people are ironing and people are bringing all of their stuff. And I would get done with a floss tube video and it would take me forever to put all my stuff away. And I'm like, this is nuts. This is nuts. I, it's too much stuff. And so, um, I don't know how often I'm going to do floss tube. I still want to do floss tube and I still have things to share. But I'm, I'm, I just guess I'm not gonna fit in and I'm co kind of okay with it. it. I Instagram is where I've been hanging mostly, um, also on Facebook, um, but I, I, I love floss tube. I, I enjoy watching people. Um, I've narrowed that down a lot also because it just was, I felt like in order to be part of the cool kids, I had to have all of these whips going and all of these projects happening and all of this stuff. And I just, it was too, it was overwhelming. And then I ended up with piles of all these whips that I had started and I knew when I would go, what I learned was, is when I went back to them, I didn't want to stitch them anymore. Or it was like, okay, so it was like a job to finish them. And so for me, I'm, I'm not going to, I have certain amount of projects I'm going to have going and I'm going to do them until I finish them. Um, I may fit some little tiny stitches in there, you know, li little, little, little tiny ones, um, which I have some actually to show you. Um, but other than that, I, if you're here for lots of whips, lots of hauls, lots of stuff, I probably won't always be mine. Although it depends if I do them a month or so apart, then there probably would be stuff because shopping. Yes. Um, all right, let's, I don't know where to start. Let's, let's do the craft room tour. Okay. So I'm going to put that part of the video in right here, right now go okay so i'm not sure how this is gonna go but we're gonna try it so if you come out of my kitchen i basically have my entire craft room is my living room because we don't use our house like normal people <laughs> but um this is the table where i take all my photos because it's got the most light um Benny's dollar tree basket that's my rolling floor stand my printers and then that's my um, 
Seasons in a Jar finish goes over there. Somebody was asking about sending me some of the phyllo plants. This is just one. See that one plant way up at the top? It goes all the way around and down. And then it also goes over there. That's just one. <laughs> I don't need any more. <laughs> But, um, so, um, when you come downstairs, so I have this really old library table that was my grandparents and it's going to be dark. I don't have a lot of lights in here other than dedicated lights. So I'm sorry, but that's just the way it's going to go. Um, my dresser that I have stuff full of stuff. <laughs> uh, this corner is kind of bare because I'm going to put all of my DMC floss up there and I haven't got to hang it yet but it's coming and then I have my little cabinet for my silhouette and my laminator and stuff like that so if you go let's go back this way gosh this is gonna be a hot mess I'm sorry maybe I have to go back up on the steps I'm two steps down into my room okay so this is my craft table and it's where all the magic happens isn't that what they say the magic happens um, I've got my box lights and a dedicated lights where my sewing machine and stuff is kept, things like that. Um, and it is on a rolling cart that I got from Harbor Freight. I actually have two of them, um, and I love them. They're heavy duty, heavy, heavy. I put them on wheels because everything in life should be on wheels, period. That's, everything should be on wheels. Um, underneath it, hold on, I have my um, finishes that I have to fully finish, stitches that I'm working on, or charts that I'm working on, and then that last third one is different fabrics and stuff that I have, and then there's just miscellaneous crafting and sewing stuff down there. Um, I have a spinny thing with all my tools on it my monitor for using with my ipad and stuff my sewing machine i still have to stitch my sewing machine cover if you follow me on instagram you saw that um but it's cute it's made out of pillowcases so that's not too bad my hot mess of dmc oh i know everybody's just cringing so am i when i gotta untangle them all and then this is one of my finishes um, again, if you follow me on IG, I'll have to warn you, there's a fly in the house and the cats are nuts. So if you hear crashing, it's because Sophie went up the wall. Um, anyways, that is one of my fully finishes, but it weighs about 15 pounds. And so I have to wait to get it hung on the wall. You'll see my quirky wall here in a minute. Um, but yeah, so I think it turned out pretty good. Not bad for a couple bucks at the doll at uh, Goodwill. Um, that is a shelving unit that goes floor to ceiling. It used to be over in the corner. I haven't decided what to do with it yet. So, and then my tabletop is just, people always ask about that, is just uh, flooring, vinyl flooring. Uh, and I love it. You can, you can beat the holy crap out of it and it does, it just keeps going. So let's see. All right, this space is more work area that I have, Ignore the empty spots, there's stuff coming, but my scissors, and this is what the table that's under there is the same table. And this is where I keep all my color coordinated flowers and fabric and yarns and ribbons and stuff like that. It goes down in these. And um, Inside the drawers is a hot mess, so we're not going through the drawers today. Yeah, then I have my scissors and all that kind of stuff. And this, hi, this year, this uh, in June, I finished. Let's see if I can get out of the glare. I finished flea market flowers, and it is probably one of my favorite things I've stitched. I love it so so much. Um, I'm really sorry about the wiggling. <laughs> I need one of those GoPros. No, I don't go anywhere. So, but anyway, so that's that's a fully finish that I got done. Well, and this is just some of my paper crafting, just stuck up there. 
but um, and then my caterpillar, which is my favorite paper cutter. Let's see. And then I have just a storage back it up, back it beep beep, back it up. Just a storage place where I keep my um, my to go box for my stitching, but it also keeps all of my supplies for my bigger stitches that go on my floor frame. Goes over there, my router's over there. More plants, did you see? They're everywhere, they're just weeds. They just grow like weeds. And um, so that's just, it's storage. Can you never have, have too much storage? Uh, backyard, bathroom is right there. Um, that's where I hang my tall, tall, my wide frames for my floor frames pellet stove. I live in Montana. We do winter here. Normally in this corner, there's a huge lemongrass that covers the entire wall. It's like six foot by six foot, but it's outside spending the summer at summer camp in the backyard. So, and then this is my hot mess of, we're not going to talk about it. Laundry room, couch, because you know, couch, um, stuff. Then I have my, just a side table. Miscellaneous. There's no number on that floss, it's the first floss I got from Amazon. I use it for um, embroidery stuff, but it's gonna get moved too because this is gonna be my quirky wall, my distress stuff, my favorite stuff in the whole wide world. <laughs> and then this is my computers and where I spend most of my life. Kitchens through there. And then this is the start of my quirky wall. I'm so excited about it. But we'll come in here a little bit. Um, okay, so I got a lot it's of... It's 145. It's 145. I got a lot of finishes done this last couple of months. And so um, these are all pretty much... You saw a video on the pink ones, but I if you're following me on IG or Facebook, you've seen these. But this is... Some of the finishes that I've done. This was the first cross stitch I did. And you can kind of see it's all 3D. And then that's a free sampler from Fat Quarter Shop. My little sheep. My big sheep. And my s snowman. And that other one that you saw on my other table has to go over here. But like I said, I have to have my husband help me find a um, stud to hang it from. But I'm probably not going to do an up close on these because I don't know. I might. Um, but you guys can see them on social media. I might just put up photos of these. But if you have any questions about them, let me know. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much my... My craft room, um, again, hot mess. And that's me. All right, back to the other video. I have to do a quick excerpt. This doesn't just stay here. This is my floor frame. And I've done photos and stuff on this already, but it just, it rolls over here or wherever I want it to go. And so I can sit in lunchtime um, and do my stitching over by my desk in my chair. Hi, Beanie. What's your job, Beanie? Huh? Where's your sister? Getting in trouble. But yeah, I wanted to show you that this just rolls. It's got wheels on it. But I've, I've talked about it before, so. Okay, so as you see, I've been working on a lot of stuff. Um, I have gotten that whole, my whole quirky, wait, this hand. <laughs> this whole uh, quirky wall going on up there. Uh, I, it, it's, I have had the best time getting crap on the wall, people. Um, I see people, I have a stack of finishes this tall. I don't know what I'm ever gonna do with them, but I've got them. And all I can think of is, is for me, I don't know why I would bother. I have a attic full of crafting things that I made that 
I don't know why I made them if they're gonna stay up there. And so it, I just, with this, I wanted it to be different. I want things to go on the wall. And I, I my, my plan is, is that if it comes off the wall, it's going to be given away. That's what I'm gonna do with it. I don't, and somebody else can hoard it. <laughs> I mean, I have a, a few pieces that I'm working on that I'll keep probably forever, but the little stuff is mostly just for fun, you know, and things like that. So when I'm tired of it, I will probably bag it up and give it away. And that's, that's the way I'm going to handle all these stitches. You know, there's, there's, Laura's putting hers in a scrapbook, which I think is amazing. And I thought about doing that too, because I wanted to be part of that. And I thought, great, more journals. <laughs> I have scrapbooks and journals, and did I mention the attic full of stuff? And um, that I'm, I'm never gonna go back and look at that stuff. And so I've decided if it doesn't end up on the wall, I'm just gonna give it away. Um, I, it, I enjoy the stitching. I think many, several people have stated that they stitch because they like to stitch. Me too, I just don't wanna store the stuff anymore. And so if I stitch it and I don't put it on the wall, I'm gonna give it a year to get on the wall. And then if it doesn't happen, it's gonna be given away to somebody who might be able to do something with it. Or if nobody wants it, I'm just gonna get rid of it. <laughs> um, I, I don't intend to do too many soul searching pieces that are little, so. Um, but I'm gonna enjoy them and then probably let them go. But, all right, so anyways, you saw that's my zone. This is my humble, uh, uh, um, this is my she cave. Man cave, she cave, her cave. Whatever they call it, I don't know. It's technically a living room that's a cut through for everybody because they come from the kitchen to the bathroom or through the laundry room and to the, it's annoying. But I have no doors and I dream of doors, but I have a 20 year old that has the back half of my house. And so once I kick his butt out the door, which won't be happening soon, <laughs> um, I will have a whole space to that I still won't go down and use. So anyways, all right, let's get, that's my yammering. So that's that's what kind of happened is I got overwhelmed and then scrap camp, uh, scrap, see, stuck on scrapbooking. Uh, cross stitch camp happened, and so I was really working hard to finish a project because you had to start and finish it in a month. And I picked big projects for um, June and July. I picked a little project for August because <laughs> I wised up. Um, but yeah, so I will. Let's see what. Let's see. Um, we'll finish. I have a giveaway. Giveaway going. And so we'll, we'll talk about that in just a second here. Um, I have a whole bunch of freebies, a whole bunch of freebies to share. Uh, I only have a couple to share actually here, but if you go to facebook.com backslash mouse potato, potato designs, I post pretty much every single day a new freebie that I have found. These are legit legal freebies. They go to the actual creator's websites. They are not found, well, I find them on Pinterest, but then I follow them to the actual link. Um, they, they're not ripped off. They're not stolen. They're not, you know, to my knowledge, I mean, the, the people are like, Hey, I created this. So I have to assume they did. Um, so if you guys are looking for some real, I posted one today that I'm going to show you that I can't believe it's free. I can't believe it's free. There is so many, I have nothing against buying charts. I've bought a whole bunch of charts this year. Um, but I, it, there's something to say for all of the beautiful free charts that are out there. And I know there's a lot of people that are on a budget that are like, God, fabric is like a thousand dollars. And right now, apparently it's an elusive gazelle that you can't find that's going extinct because of all the shipping problems that they're having from China um, and or across the seas, they can't get containers. There's a whole thing with that. And so you, they don't have fabric to dye. And so we don't have anything to buy. <laughs> so, um, but anyways, uh, the other that that was that that was the other thing that got me off last tube is I'm a little over hearing about COVID and I'm gonna mention it here because I'm gonna bite myself in the ass. Um, I don't want to hear about it anymore. And every single floss tube almost that I've watched spent 15 to 20 minutes of every video doing this COVID vaccine COVID update thing. I'm all for life updates. I enjoy learning about your family. I enjoy learning about your animals and your stitching and all of these kind of things, but I'm over the COVID updates over it. 
over it. And so after a while, I'm just like, nope, click off. I'm sorry. And, and because it's just, I come here to look at your stitching and learn about you. And this is just what all of, I don't know if it still is that way. I have to go back and start watching some more again. Um, but a lot of it has just been COVID update and I just, I, I, I'm over it. I don't want to hear about it anymore. I want to hear about your stitching or your life, but not play-by-play -play updates on this situation. And so that'll get me a lot of down, thumbs down. And I understand, but that's a huge part of why I have stopped watching a lot of Floss Tube is the, the incessant over and over and over of this. And I think we get enough of it in the news and that kind of stuff that I don't want, I don't want you to, like I said, this will be the last time I ever mention it because I'm explaining um, that I just, I think there needs to be some place that this doesn't seep into. So, all right, let's see what I have got. Well, I'm going to show you a couple of finishes. Now you've seen my wall of wonder. And again, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen all of these. Um, this one I haven't hung yet because <laughs> it weighs about 25 pounds. No, I don't know how much. I mean, it's really heavy. It's solid plaster. When I got it, I got it from Goodwill. Um, let's see this side there we go. Um, I got it from Goodwill and I thought it was silver when I got it. It was not obviously because when I got it cleaned up, it was this rosy gold patina on there and it works so perfect. This was another free stitch. Um, all the information will be somewhere. Um, and I just, all I had to do is clean up the frame, put it in there. And now I just got to hang it on the wall, which apparently is the hardest part because uh, it's, it weighs a ton. <laughs> I I went to Goodwill. I saw this at Goodwill and I told my husband, I said, I should buy this. I should buy this frame. And I, I picked it up and I put it back and I picked it up and I put it back and I picked it up and carried it all around the store and put it back and, and went home and regret. Oh my God, I regretted it so much. So I went back the next day as soon as they opened it and I got it and I'm so tickled with it. It just, I think it's just so pretty. And I don't know if this stitch will stay in it forever or what, but I'm kind of crooked today, apparently. Uh, but I, um, for now, it it could not, it was like it was made for it. It was, it's the perfect size for it. So I do have that one. All right. Oh, it's so heavy. Uh, the other one I could take off the wall. Well, I take them all off the wall, but I'm not going to was. Okay, hold on, because I got to get out of my, my, <laughs> my, there's my light box. See, Woo. Um, let's see. How can we, there we go. Okay. So, um, this way, flea market flowers you've all seen this it's a lori holt one um i added changed the colors are all uh called for but i put it on a buckskin hand dyed fabric from to die for not to die for fabrics and more on etsy i'm leaning again sorry and i added some words and a whole bunch of stuff like that and you can kind of see the words in there and i added some extra stitching around the the um flowers and stuff like that so i am uber uber proud of this because i finished this in 19 days <laughs> it was crazy stitching <laughs> <laughs> it's 3 15. it's 3 15 but i did this for my june um cross stitch camp and i did it in 19 days it is i don't know if you can see up close we'll try it this way full of french knots french knots everywhere everywhere so um it was it was whoo <laughs> i wasn't sure i was gonna be able to finish it but i have to have a proud proud moment when i got a comment from kimberly jolly at fat quarter shop and she's like we would like to put this on our instagram page do you mind if i repost it and i'm like oh no please don't <laughs> no that of course that was not my answer <laughs> i was so flattered i couldn't believe that i couldn't believe it i just you know, you work really, really hard on something and I'm really, really new. I just started in February and 
I, I just, I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> I'm texting my husband. I'm like, honey, my son. I'm like, you guys got to see this. You gotta, I have it screenshot. It went in my journal, the whole ball of wax. Yeah, it was a moment. And I recognize that a lot of people have had these moments and that kind of stuff. It, but I have to say for the designers and the, the sellers of the designs and that kind of stuff, you will never know what your comment... I don't, you don't have to repost anything. I mean, that was above and beyond awesome. But when I see, when I've done a chart by, let's say, Jeanette Douglas, and she leaves either a comment or at least clicks the like, you know, the little heart on it or something, that is utterly amazing. And it gives, at least for me, a huge boost when I'm brand new, especially, that I'm doing something right. They don't have to love it. They don't have to share it. But just acknowledging that somebody stitched your stuff, it's huge, huge, huge. And um, I really appreciate Kimberly. I know she didn't design it. Lori Holt did. And, and Lori Holt's big name. And so I didn't expect anything from that. But um, but it was very kind of her. And um, I'm just so grateful i it was it was an ego boost for sure and it was a, a a confidence boost most of all a huge confidence boost um but yeah so that was my whoa <laughs> for um for that stitch and so and then again, of course i got all of these other ones finished and i have all the information on my instagram about these but uh yeah so we have new neighbors and they're so weird. So weird. But um, let's see. Okay, so let's do let's do the free charts real quick. Um, and I'll put up a photo here because these are not gonna be very good. I printed them off and you can kind of see here uh, it's a full size chart. This is a free chart. It says, what does it say? It says the way to happiness. Keep your heart free from hate, your mind from worry, live simply, expect little, give much, scatter sunshine, forget self, think of others. Ah, I printed it out immediately because I'm going to stitch it. I won't say immediately because, yeah, I have a few things first. But I love that so much, I'm gonna put it right there in that bare spot so I can read it every single day and osmosisly send it out into the world because I just, that is amazing. And on top of it, it is a free stitch. I don't remember what the exact dimensions are on it. Um, it comes in several languages. Again, it's on my mouse potato, facebook.com backslash mouse potato designs. I just posted it there today, which is Monday, the 9th. Um, it stays up there, but that's when it is. It, but I just could not believe that's a free chart and I can't wait to stitch it. Mostly I can't wait to get fabric to stitch it. I ordered fabric and I ordered linen. <laughs> <laughs> even weave and I also ordered some 20 and 22 count Ada because apparently I'm getting all brave that and the fact that all I can seem to find that's not 14 count is generic oh, it's not generic I like it to have a hand dyed look to it and in Ada I like 8 to 16 18 count it's really hard to find and so everybody seems to be able to find linen though, like no problem. And so I'm gonna see if I can, I'm gonna see if I can do it. Um, the other freebie that I have to share is from the same website and I'm not gonna pronounce it because I don't even, I'm not even sure what language it is. It's either Italian or French. I can kind of figure that out, but um, it is a seasonal uh, chart and it has four different seasons and they're just little tiny stitches. They are, I don't know, it's in French or Italian. I don't know how big they are. 50 by 50. So little tiny ones, but I thought they would be really cute to stitch at, um, a little one at a time. And so those are all on my Facebook page. Um, 
I, the link will be down below. I share pretty much every day a new freebie that I have found. And so, cause there's thousands, thousands of them. Um, I also have been making a list of floss tubers I enjoy watching. I have been making lists of freebie sites that I enjoy, places I like to shop. If you have places that you like to shop, hit me up because I don't know who to buy from on Etsy and I'm trying to get fabric. <laughs> um, but so if you want more freebies or you're looking for freebies, I have a whole bunch of fall ones coming because I went nuts at the Dollar Tree. I think you guys, if you saw my haul, um, and there was more after that. Um, so I want to fill these little tray things that I'm going to make. And so I went nuts and, and got a whole bunch, saved a whole bunch of autumn and pumpkin and I'm not so much into Halloween. I don't have a problem with Halloween. I just not so much into Halloween. I'm not so much into Christmas either. So it's equal opportunity. Um, but, um, yeah, so i whoa, train of thought completely, completely left, completely left me. I have no idea. And so, oh, I know what I was going to share with you. One moment, please. Okay. Let's go to that. So I have one, one work in progress. Um, the always flowers that I'm doing, and it looks like this, this is how far I've gotten. Oops. And that's a pretty much a week of stitching. I had the fe the feather done when I started and then I finished the rest of it in about a week. My plan is, is I have one, two, three of these really large charts um, that I'm stitching on and I want to do one week per you can see right over there is my, uh, my the, this week's <laughs> um, I want to do one week per large chart so I can try to complete them this year because I would really like to get them on the wall um, this is always flowers whoops and I got it on Etsy information is down below yada yada um, and, and it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful chart, but I ran into a snag that my ecru color was too light on the fabric. And so I'm, I'm having to figure out a, a different color. And so luckily that happened at the end of the week. And so I'm going to let sit over there for a month and decide for me what, what color it wants to be. Uh, so that is my only whip. <laughs> That's it. Uh, like I said, I have I have ones that are going, but I haven't stitched on them since the last time I showed you. So there's there's nothing to show you on those. So that that is my whip, uh, my one little whip. Um, oh, and then the next one I should have more. So I do I did purchase some charts because that's what we do. <laughs> okay. Um, I keep buying these Italian and French and Russian charts and I, then I can't pronounce <laughs> what they're called, but, uh, or who the designers are. So the information will be down below, but I am so excited about these. Okay. I bought two Christmassy, December-y, winter-y, um, type stitches, um, I don't want to do a whole bunch of holiday stuff, but that doesn't mean I won't do any. But the first one is called Primitive Christmas Sampler. This is by, nope, not going to do it. I will put her information down below. I believe she's Russian, out of Russia. I don't know if she's Russian, but I believe her store is in Russia. I could be totally wrong. You'll have to check her out. But this is what it looks like. Isn't it cute? Look at that sheep. Oh my gosh, that fat little sheep was it. Now, the reason that I picked this was, of course, the sheep. But there's also a moose on here, which reminds me of one of our bazillion trips to West Yellowstone. when And we were coming out of the park and we saw a moose when we left the park. Um, there, It's just, it's more like wintry and that kind of stuff. Montana is usually full of snow and so we have lots of snow we have deer there's a white deer on here which i don't have white deer but there's a deer and we have deer that come every day to the yard um i have i can remember having christmas stockings growing up 
you, there's just a whole gamut on here. And so I thought it would be a really cute sampler to stitch for Christmas. And I don't know when, I don't get to start any of this stuff until I get these other ones, a chunk of them done. I, as I say that now, that does not mean that will happen forever, but her charts are beautiful. They're really well done. I guess I could show you just a smidgey here. Um, they're in color. And so, um, but yeah, so I'm looking for the sheep, you guys, the sheep. Oh my gosh, the sheep. <laughs> He's so fat. <laughs> Uh, you know you're gonna be French knots. That's right. It's gonna be French knots. Uh, but there's not very many colors to it. Where's the? Where did my floss go? Um, yeah, there's not very many colors. So how you been? I missed you guys. Okay, I'm going to do it on this piece of weathered oak by To Die For Not Fabrics because I was trying to go through my stash and use up the fabric that I have instead of just ordering more for it for two reasons. One, I tried to and there wasn't any. I need I need fabric people, but I have the attention span of a two year old. I don't need, I wanna order that. Could you dye it and send it to me six years from now? I want ready to ship. So do you have a favorite ready to ship something? I don't care where it is. Something ready to ship for fabric. I'm looking for 16, 18 count. Anyway, so this is what the weathered oak uh, looks like. And then these are the colors. Oh yeah, that's graceful that that it calls for. And so I just, I thought that's gonna be really cute on that. And it's such a cute, it's just adorable. I just, you know how stitches just make you smile? There's just certain ones that, I mean, some of them are like, oh, that's so pretty. And other ones are like, oh my God, that's so cute. Oh my God, it's so cute. Yeah, that's how that one was. Okay. so. That's that one. Oh, sorry, Benny. Scared the cat. <laughs> okay, the other one from this, did I mention these are like $5? I think I paid $5 for one and like six or $8 for the other one. Check her out, she's got some really nice ones. She has a camera one I wanna do really bad. Yeah. Um, okay, so the next one that I have is the same designer. Um, on Etsy. Oh, see, I'm so scared. I've got ink all over my fingers. I'm like, you're going to wrap that across your face. Um, but this one is called December Advent. And what I liked about it was, is it was not Christmassy. It was more wintry instead of Christmassy. There is like an angel on here. What else is on here? There's an ornament on here. Of course, there's sheep. Uh, you know, and, and stuff like that. And it does say you can replace the word at the bottom with Happy New Year or something else. I can't remember. I think it's Happy New Year. Uh, but I'm going to just leave that bottom part off and just do the top. Just do the top. Um, but what I really liked about it was the color palette was blues and creams and this, these reds. And it's kind of grays it's not really blues but anyways I'll show you um, a, a kind of a sneaky sneaky peek here of the chart really well done chart look at the sheep are they cute oh my god they're so cute um oh these charts are also about the same uh 111 by 150 I can't remember on that one but they're about the same size or so but I just thought this one was so so unique. It, it it didn't scream Christmas, even though it's an advent, which, anyways, um, I guess I don't really understand advent. It's a countdown to Christmas, right? I don't know. It's 3.30. Um, it's 3.30. But I just thought it went more with what I would do in the wintertime because it has like mittens and an ice skate, which is not me. But I do think it's funny. There's like a half an apple on here and mushrooms and stuff like that. And I'm like, really? <laughs> but anyways, um, I, so I got that one. So I, um, I bought fabric for that for this one. Uh, at Hobby Lobby by accident because we were looking for the threads for it and I came across this Artiste 18 count Ada in vintage. But look at this, doesn't that look like a snowstorm, right? It's so pretty. I don't remember how much, oh, five bucks. Five bucks at, at um, Hobby Lobby. And then these are the colors and you can't really see the, there we go. 
and these are the colors. And so I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm probably, I'm trying to decide on the red. I'm probably gonna change the red out to more of a mauve color, but anyways, I just think that's gonna be really, really cute. So I I don't know, I may I may start. This one has like got a lot of border in it, and boy, all I've been stitching lately are borders. There's a lot of borders in cross stitch, people. But anyway, so that one's called December Advent, and that'll be linked down below. Sorry, Benny. Okay, next one that I bought was from Coke. Oh, why can I not say this poor woman's name, shop's name? But you know, uh, Crochet by Gogo? Yeah. Well, she came out with a new one, Keep Calm and Cross Stitch, and it's got mice all over it. So, Mouse Potato Designs. So, of course, I had to get it. Um, I am not going to stitch the keep calm part at the top. I'm just going to do from there down. Or I may do this one like she had it done and in little little pillows and stuff to go in my trays. I haven't decided. Um, this one, I probably won't get started till next year. It was going to be my fourth and I decided, nope, I'll finish. I'll start this one when I finish her spring in the city one. Anyways, I'm doing call for colors pretty much. I had to change the color of the mice because they're white and I really don't want white, but I still don't know what color I'm going to pick. Um, but I am doing it on 16 count Heartland Ada. And then these are pretty much the colors that are, why am I struck? Where's the hole? There we go. So that's, that's, that's what I'm going to do for, for those. Um, I think I got this from one, two, three stitch. I'm not sure where I got it. Somewhere, somewhere. Um, and as always, she has beautiful color, whoops, where, beautiful color charts, which I prefer the color because I'm a skimmer. And so for me, I, my brain stops when the color stops, but if I use a black and white one, it's like, I just <clears throat> keep stitching. Uh, so that's that one. <coughs> Yeah, now I'm doing it on purpose. I know. All right, so let's clear off this too, because that's funny. See, this is what happens. And then it spends two hours cleaning my room. Okay, last purchase. Well, that's not true. I haven't decided about that one. Yeah, I'm going to talk about that one. So second to the last purchase. This one's, this is my unicorn. Can you have a unicorn in your first year? already but I won't be starting that well part of it I'm going to start in December because I want to have that done but I am going to do one of these a month starting in January of next year and so I'm so excited this is the most expensive thing I've ever bought to craft with besides a machine you know but I had to have it and as very nice people told me just sell them when you're done and I went all right, I could do that. But there's, okay, it's huge. So my plan is to have a sheep wall, okay? Not not just a quirky wall, but all these little sheep are gonna go on a wall. Probably in my bedroom because I have nothing on the walls in my bedroom because I'm ghetto that way. But it might go over there. I don't know where it's going. So let's don't get down that, down that road. Anyways, I saw on Instagram, Pinterest, I saw Little House Needleworks Sheep Virtues, but they were done up with a country cottage needlework center and they were done up in one piece. And I was like, I must have you in my life. So I bought them. All right, so I bought Country Cottage Needleworks. This one's called Sheep in the Meadows and this is the one they used in the middle. And most people changed the purple out. I, of course, am not because it's my favorite color. And so I hope this is still recording. God, that'd suck. Um, <laughs> so this is going to be the center. And then I was going to do it like everybody else had done, where they had done on one big piece of fabric. And I've decided I'm going to put it into a frame of some sort. But each one is going to be a finish that's that's in the frame. So you'll, it'll still be the same shape but they'll all float separately. So I can, because they all have their own little unique borders and I didn't want to lose that. But, um, so I got, I got all of the Little House Needleworks, um, 
uh, little sheep uh, virtues. And so I have patience. I guess I'm going this way. Patience, because I need it. Uh, that's going to be my next tattoo, actually. What is you? Hope. Oh, God, they're so cute, you guys. They're so cute. Friendship. And I hope to do parts of these into small things that I can give away. I think that'd be fun. Uh, peace. Love. Kindness, my fave. Joyfulness. Gratitude. What are you? Wisdom. Mm, excuse me. Courage. <laughs> it's purple, it's courage, and it's my word. Um... This one is simplicity and then faith, but I'm not, I'm not doing the word faith. I'm going to change that out to either truth or trust, um, something truth or trust. I'm not sure which one, but I'm going to trade that out. Okay. So I have all the charts. I have all the floss. It's so hard not to start it. Uh, but I'm going to start it, I, I think I'm going to start the, the, the center one in December and finish it in December, even if I have to put everything else away. And then I'm going to do one per month for the month the year of 2022. And that means that t January of 2023, or hopefully by the end of December 2022, I will have it framed, fully finished, and complete. And I plan on buying the fabric, the trims, all of that kind of stuff that I'm going to finish each one of the little squares with. Um, so that I can finish each, not just stitch these, finish them. Um, but I am going to be stitching it on, what are you called? Something. Picture This Plus Legacy Ada. It is a 16 count. Um, I had I had this piece in my stash and I was just short, so I ordered another piece. They, of course, are not the same color, but they're close enough. It's got a little bit of green kind of to it, but I think this will work really, really nice. And so I figured it's okay that this one's not exactly the same. I know they look the same on the camera, but um, because I'll use this one to stitch the big one in the middle. And again, they're not connected, so it shouldn't, shouldn't really matter. But they all have these little awesome little borders on them. And so I would really like to, oh, you can't even tell. Anyways, I'd really like to um, make sure each one keeps their own border. And so that is, that's my unicorn purchase for 2022. My other unicorn is the Hello from Liz Matthews, but I think her mother, I don't know if her mother did it or if she did it. Anyways, it's that beautiful Dutch sampler that she came out with this year. I want that great big one so bad. And not only do I want the great big one, I want to stitch it as that great big picture. It was gorgeous. I need to just buy it. My problem is, is I'm like, I'm not adult enough for it. Yes, you are. Buy it. And, and it, cause it was, it's probably one of the most beautiful things that I have seen since I started getting into cross stitch. It, I just think it's stunning. I, I love the color of the fabric. I love the color of the flosses. I love, I love it. And so that says I should buy it, right? What do you think? Should I buy it? Just, just buy it, buy it, yeah. Um, but it's it's my grown up, what I call my grown up. Um, it, it's just so beautiful. Um, have you guys seen all the ones that have come out for Needlework Expos, the fall one? There's the scissors one. Uh, touch my, if you use my fabric scissors, I'll cut you or I'll find you or something like that. I am so getting that. <laughs> it was so funny. Um, okay, what do I got left? Just a few things. Uh, no, I'm going to wait till the next time to show that. I bought a whole bunch of sulky thread. I don't know why, because it was pretty, Because mostly because I want to do these autumn stitches, these little fun stitches, and I figured I'm not going to try to even bother like ma DMC matching the little tiny things. I'm just going to use what I've got on hand, but what I got these for is they're the variegated ones, and 
I love them. Anybody else a junkie for variegated? So I'm gonna find stitches just to stitch with these. So I got a whole, whole bunch, whole bunch of them um, that I gotta figure out what to do with. Okay, giveaway, um, giveaway, giveaway, giveaway. Giveaway is easy. I, mostly I'm having it on my Instagram. Um, it, it, all the information will be down below. What I'm giving away is I'm giving away all these flosses as a thank you for um, supporting me on Instagram mostly um, for through sc scrap. Uh, I'm stuck with that um, because I went to scrap camp. But um, for cross stitch camp and bearing with me with all that kind of stuff and those kind of things. So if you would like, the other thing that I am putting in the giveaway is this pair of scissors. Um, I put a little needle per nose protector on there. And then I have, um, I, whoops, one of my finishes was the, was this little sheep. So I did another one and made a scissor fob out of it. So all of this is going to be in the giveaway and all the information will be down below. If you're a subscriber here and you leave a comment, you get an extra vote. All you have to do is be a subscriber a subscriber um, on my YouTube channel. If you leave a comment here, you will definitely get an extra vote for it. I'm just gonna put them all in a big pile and we're, my son's gonna draw for them. Um, but the, the number one way you have to get entered is to go over to my Instagram. The link is down below. Um, there's a post on there. You can't miss it. It says giveaway on it. And all you have to do is leave a comment and that comment needs to be telling me what your favorite cross stitch item is. Is it fabric? Is it floss? Is it a chart? Is it whatever it is? It doesn't matter. I don't care. Just something you love that has to do with cross stitch that you. Okay. That was creepy. Something on my shelf moved. Anyways, leave me a comment on Instagram. You have to um, follow me on Inst Instagram, but you can. Um, yeah, and I can see who were the last ones that that subscribed and followed, and that's how I'm. I know who did what. Um, if you want an extra vote, for sure, leave a comment. But mostly, it's it's on Instagram. So, um, yeah. Okay. I think, I think that's it. I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed the wander around my craft room. Um, I will, I'll be back at least once a month. Uh, winter's easier and I will be, you know, doing a lot more stuff in the winter time. Right now we were 96 degrees yesterday. We are a high of like 68 today. It's craziness. <laughs> but we're back in the high 90s tomorrow and for the rest of the week or some stupid thing like that. But this summer has kicked my ass. <laughs> the heat is insane. But um, it, things will slow down in the winter here and when I don't have to be outside doing stuff and take care of things so much and, you know, Joshua got a job and so we have been learning how to live around his job and just life is busy. And uh, so I've been trying to keep it's up with like as many as I can and um, be sure you leave me a comment if you have a floss tube though. I, I am trying to check out the new people that have been like, hey, I just started floss tube or I have a floss tube. You don't have to just start. You can have floss tube. Uh, the, I've had many, many people Instagram uh, message me on Instagram saying, hey, I have a floss tube too. So I've been checking them out and, and that kind of stuff. And so let me know because I'm always up for somebody new. Um, but I think that's it. I hope you guys have had a wonderful summer. I have. Um, I am pushing 50 next year and I have walked straight into what it means to be a 50, almost 50 year old woman and I ain't happy about it. And if you're this age, you kind of know what I'm talking about and who, yeah, those should come with a warning label. Anyways, uh, we won't get into that because nobody cares. Um, so that's what I've been going on. I have a lot of, like you saw my corner of wonder I'm trying to get through. Um, but lots of gardening, lots of housework, not much stitching, a lot, a lot of stitching, a lot of finishing. Um, so I'm rambling and I will let you go. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for still being here. Thank you for looking for me. You know, I actually had a few people that were like, are you going to floss tube again? It was really nice that somebody thought I hadn't died. <laughs> 
But um, like I said, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, I'm pretty much a daily poster over there. So you, you know I didn't drop dead. Um, I will see you in the next floss tube, which should be, I don't know when. I don't know when. Next couple of weeks. It could be next week. I could get on a roll and have like six in a row. I'm trying to learn how to make garden sleeves with sewing. Oh, I forgot to show you my thing. No, I didn't. Bye. I'll see you guys next time.